this is our leaf cutter ant colony. Um, this is a main nest where the queen is. The queen's buried deep at the bottom there. And you can see on the outside, this patch of white is a fungus they propagate, which the ants eat. So the ants will come out every morning into the tunnel. You can see that just coming back now, they'll walk all round the tubes. It's about a 10 metre journey. And then the tubes end up here on the uh, food for the day. And then some of the ants, the cutting ants, will then come back. You can see one here. They'll transport the leaves back to the colony. And then from these leaves, what they'll do is they'll propagate the fungus and the fungus is what supports a colony. They think these colonies have one of the most complex social structure in the animal. There's about 15 or 20 different roles within the colony. The queen lays the eggs. There's some that cut the uh, leaves. There's also some that ride on the back of the ants to cut the leaves, keep them clean. The soldier ants that keep the colony safe and all come out. We think there's about 9,000 individuals in the colony at the moment. Um, and you can just see here, this was where the ants for some reason built their graveyard. So any animal, any ant that is, dies is taken out of the main colony and put into the graveyard just in case they're carrying some disease which could affect the whole colony. Um, and they will pick up the dead ones and take them to the graveyard. They won't just leave them there. Um, but these are incredible, these ants. They really are it's such a complex social system. And how it all works is when they come back to the main nest, they will bring signals with them to the queen as to what ants they need to keep the, co the colony flourishing. And she will then pass that egg. If they need another soldier egg, a uh, soldier ant, she'll lay a soldier egg. If they need another minim ant, she'll lay a minim egg. It's incredibly so complex social structure um, which keeps the whole, whole thing going.